Hello, welcome again. Circuit number six, part three of circuit number six, the HMI circuit. The HMI circuit because it's the human interface, uh, basically because of these push buttons and the indication. And uh, you use the push buttons to control the behavior of the circuit. So now, uh, here we are. We are going to make a description of uh, how this circuit is going to work uh, and how it is going to be connected to the uh, manual control uh, board. Uh, remember, we were talking about the manual control on our second part of this circuit, uh, the traffic light controller. And as usual, as before, here is our script, electronic West benefit. Do you remember our caution here? The electricity safety issue. Please, electricity can kill, can injure, can actually damage property. Be with someone who is experienced if you are not experienced working with electricity. And we expect that you have prior knowledge of electronics because we are not going to have any tutorial on electronics search for information on the net there is lots and lots of information to learn electronics and uh, if you are working in a workshop please keep it clean don't allow kids to be around the workshop because you are keeping tools there sharp objects uh, small objects there please keep children out of the workshop we expect that this this uh, would need someone who is at least 10 years and above Younger is uh, very uh, tricky. I uh, would actually be happy to hear from younger people, younger than 10 years, who would actually have done this circuit. So, as I've said, it's not going to be any lesson on electronics. Please do this part before you actually attempt and use electronic waste. It's a philosophy that we would want to achieve here that we recycle material and this circuit as usual can be used for training can be used as a learning aid can be used for industrial application at schools to help people cross the traffic uh, uh, roads right uh, the tools and resources that you need very few because uh, it's not a programming uh, 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 circuit the computer is there to maybe to draw the schematics if you are going to improve to adapt or to do your own you are going to actually produce your own pcb you need a computer to draw and you need software for that the multimeters and tools of course obviously you are going to need a soldering iron yeah. you need uh, old PC boards, comp uh, populated components that you can talk for recycling, ferro boards, spread boards for testing and all that, yeah, of course you are going to need them. Uh, not much on uh, programming, software is mostly the uh, schematic drawing software and the, the PCB layout drawing software, yeah, pretty much uh, only that and uh, the other ones are mostly for the microcontroller version circuits and you are also going to need your time you are going to need your patience your passion your dedication for you to achieve this i thank you for your time you i hope you are going to enjoy this circuit and remember it's part number three of circuit number six traffic light controller using logic gets uh, digital logic gets and remember, as I always uh, uh, do, please, uh, I hope these circuits uh, are going to be as short as possible. But if you find it difficult, please, I'm there to help as much as I can. So let's go to our circuit. The HMI. Uh, there's one thing that I was supposed to tell you that, well, as much as you will be using the 40 series of uh, the version of the uh, logic circuits, you can also use the 74 series. And but remember, it's a 5 volt circuit, and then maybe you have to adapt the power supplying of those circuits and the relay powers 
supplies. Uh, make sure you actually learn about that before you actually attempt this. So uh, now our circuit, how does it work? This is an HMI human machine interface with two buttons. Uh, it's a bit different from the peak version because these buttons will operate independently. If you are going to change from one mode to the other, you're just going to press and release. Just a short press and release, and you observe your indication here. It's having uh, the relay driver as usual, but now this relay driver is not driving the relays, it's driving the LEDs and also uh, pausing the timers. The timer, remember from our timing circuit, uh, it's the same circuit, always the same. Uh, with the relay driver input to actually trigger the monostable circuit. These are always monostable circuits. And here on this part here, remember, there is that statement there. It must be at least some one third of the time uh, of the green, of the shortest green. If one green, suppose one side of the green, the other one is 15 seconds, the other one, uh, one is 15 seconds, the other one is 20 seconds. It means you take one third of the 15 seconds, which means five seconds. It must at least give you a pause, which is five seconds long. This is to prevent, uh, because it's manually controlled, uh, to prevent switching cars random uh, quickly. Like you are now, uh, you stop on one side, it goes uh, to the other side, and then you stop again, uh, maybe two seconds. Uh, within two seconds, normally no car would have actually crossed. That's the reason why this timer is uh, very critical. Make it suit your application. This one, uh, this timer, uh, is uh, for for the changing of the uh, of this, uh, including that one. But this one is uh, more than one function. So we have a, a JK flip flop here, the four zero two seven. This flip flop will just drop in on the clock and then it alternates these states. Either it is uh, high here and low here, or it is high here and low there. This has two circuits in one chip. So you have a, a, a double circuit. And then you have uh, your 4093 uh, NAND kit here. Uh, this is now uh, a NAND kit which uh, well, we would have to learn about what is an kit. And then here, uh, although it looks similar, but this is a no rocket. This is a NAND kit, this is a no rocket. So you have another chip here, which is a no rocket. So here is a timer, which can be dual. Here is the example of how you can use the 556 timer, the dual timer. This one has got two timers in one IC, just like this one has two flip-flop, JK flip-flop in one chip. This one has two timers in one chip, but the same, exactly the same like the triple five timer, five, five, five. Only that this one has got different pin layout. Be careful when you choose the five, five, six, it's not exactly a, a direct replacement. The pins are different. What is important is to note the, 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 the function of each pin. So how does this circuit work? <laughs> Remember, we have our stop signal, we have our run signal, which is going to the manual board. We have our auto signal, we have our manual signal, going to the manual control board. The stop signal, remember, it's also going to the manual control board. Those green signals that I was saying it's coming to the money to the to the HMI board so yeah coming green one green two coming into there through the no rocket this now is a no rocket that one is also a no rocket so this no rocket is now functioning as a not get so this basically becomes an all rocket this also set same setup there is a no rocket 
there is a no kit. This is now a not kit. So this part here is actually an or kit. So you basically need two or kits. Or kits here. Two or kits to actually implement the function that I've actually put here. So two or kits. Or a three input or kit. Can I use a three input or kit? Well, there are three inputs. One, two, three. So it's up to you to design the way you want. But I've chosen this one because this I see the 4001 is a very common I see on old PC boards. You mostly find it. If a board has got a digital logic I see on it, you are mostly definitely going to find a 4001 IC there. So that's why I chose the 4001. But you you must understand the function that you want to achieve uh, so that you can actually choose any IC that gives you that function. This is how I design my, 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 my circuits. The resistance and capacitor are just there to remove noise. They're just dumping. Nothing much uh, 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 functions there. So we have this is a, an input from outside and this is an input from outside this is now human input and this is an output indication and here yeah, is connected to the manual control board so suppose you power your circuit these are normally open circuits you power your circuit it's a now a complete circuit a you know the default must be it is in run mode and automatic mode so it means this one is a high this one is a high mm, i don't know why i did that uh, because this one must be in set position okay i think something is wrong there yeah this is a mistake yeah this run must be here and that stop must be there but you can change around uh, it depends on how you you do it because anyway I think uh, you have a run here is it going to affect anything okay nothing more this is stop uh, okay it's not going to actually change much uh, because it's only the condition of this check uh, uh, in field shop but uh, you would rather have the Q as a run and the Q not as a as a stop. But as it is, it will work. But uh, uh, yeah, I intended to have a run here and a stop there. So no problem. But it will work. Unless if it was like this one. This one is going, yeah. This was going to be a problem. But that one is not going to be a problem. Because you can just change it around by pressing the keys and make it uh, in the run mode. So default it must be in on run mode and automatic. So if it is in that mode, it means okay, you choose now what you want to do. Suppose uh, what's the next step that you, you would want to choose? You would want to choose a, a manual to change from automatic to manual, which means you have to change here from this one high to a low and this one from low to a high. It means you press this button it goes through this circuit here pin number two comes out here and actually comes to that timer and remember this is a circuit a timer circuit like we have described before a timer circuit uh, on the first part we did the timer circuit the circuit which is complete uh, I'll show you briefly here that circuit this is our timer circuit here with the two resistors here and the capacitor and then the that re, uh, capacitor and the timing capacitor here the triple time the, the triple five timer in a monostable state and all the timers are in monostable so this is the timer circuit and remember that so this is our timer circuit so that manual that uh, auto to manual change press a button comes to the timer trigger this timer it goes high 
for a short time timed by this size of the capacitor you can be small or high well I think fast enough and then it clocks it means it changes from what from auto to manual so it means this was high now it's going low and this one going uh, high it was low now when you change to manual it means the traffic light controller will actually stay on one side as green and if it's uh, you do not uh, interact with it it's going to stay there it, which means if it is a four-way intersection it means one side is allowed to pass and the other one is stopped well that will not be an ideal uh, situation so you must actually be able to control this, uh, the, this, the, the car traffic mm, manually so this is the intention to put the circuit into manual mode and how you do that you use now the stop strobe uh, or the stop run uh, switch now this switch to actually change direction which means our circuit is now in manual remember this signal is actually now a high this one is now a low so th this is a low here is a low right here comes a low this one is a high uh, this one is just going for indication this one is going for indication this one is going for indication that's why I was saying it doesn't matter here so this one is going for indication the other one is going for indication but this one is going for control here this one is going for control so we are interested in that part this has become low now and this one has become high just indicate that it's now in manual mode but this one has become low first it was high so it has become low it was high here initially and nothing was happening so we didn't care about it but now it has become low now we want to do something with this circuit because the second switch is now coming here the stop run uh, switch is has to affect here or there so because now this one is and uh, now a low and a low there so what is happening here uh, let me show you right so the stop run mode will affect this timer the manual auto mode uh, switch will affect this timer so we remember that we press here mm, we affect that one we press here we affect that one so this is now how we are going to do it so now you press the stop button was want to change direction it to actually trigger or uh, put a, a strobe to the timer this strobe to the timer remember uh, the timer how it functions the reset button now is different from this one this timer now is configured different from that one because now the reset button pin number four is now uh, affected here it is not because the year is on high it's wired to the power just like the power supply is also wired here but now this one is not wired to the power it de it's determined by this condition of the green so one side is green we know one side is green end of the green let's suppose it's side number one here is a high this remember is an all rocket we have a high here means here is a high so if you have a high here because this one is a all rocket we don't care about that one because this is a high we don't care about that one because this is an all rocket as long as we have a high it means this output is a high here is also if this is a high it means this output is a high because it's an all rocket so you have a high here so the timer will actually respond so you have a high coming and then it will trigger and then cause a high here but remember here on the NAND gate now you have a low here as long as you have a low here here is a high and if you have a high here this is an, a NAND gate a high here which is common to all a high here means this is a low so nothing is going to change here it means a low but here you said we have a low here and a high here so this is a high and then here it has gone high it's a monostable it has gone high uh, so if it has gone high here we have a high here and here is a high so you have a high and a high a low here and a low here 
is high so the stroke becomes a what a high determined by the time of the what of this uh, monostable so the stroke comes high for some time the time determined by that factor remember which you can make it actually maybe even half the shortest time so that you allow cars to pass before you actually change direction or equal to the shortest mm, depends on uh, how you choose it so the stroke becomes a high and then goes low determined by that time remember in our manual control what the stroke does it actually transferred it transfers that stroke to the what to the logic meaning it was in manual mode so now let's see the manual mode we go through past the the, the manual control the strobe is coming here remember one of the side is green so the strobe here is suppose it's one which is green it comes here straight and goes to three and if it goes to three it comes to the logic on three here and actually comes high and low so it steps changes the direction so this one was actually green so it steps from green to amber and then the amber takes over so this is how the flow is going to work so that stop is going to be uh, to be transferred to the logic eventually via the what the manual control board so that's in manual mode right uh, so it is in manual mode so you are actually using this key here, the push button to change direction it happens for the other side as well, well I think it's straightforward now uh, how do you get out of the manual mode you have to press this one this button again so this button will actually uh, uh, affect this one remember this button affects the what this timer and that timer will actually clock here because it's enabled it just clocks in this one and changes to what to automatic and automatic it comes high here now this is now high so high here will wait for this input here and the high here will always keep this one high so we have a high here and all okay, get this is high so this will always be working right uh, so it is now in what in automatic mode so you have automatic goes there and this is a high right now um, suppose uh, okay this is how you get out of the the, the manual mode suppose uh, why this circuit is there this circuit this circuit is there such that you cannot uh, you cannot uh, remember this is affecting by the stop and run you cannot stop uh, the sorry you cannot actually uh, in 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 manual mode you cannot actually uh, uh, strop uh, this one you cannot actually strop this one if any line is not green you cannot actually put a strop here because the strop can be long enough to actually encroach into the the time of the of the of the logic to affect the, the 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 stepping of to the green it goes to amber before you even uh, well before it is actually uh, green so because this time now is long enough to actually uh, affect the timing of the logic so it can only be stepped you can only get a strobe here if any one of these ones is green because there's a time when uh, any of these ones is not green like you have a red red 
or it has moved from green to amber so if there is a law and a law here it means a law and a law here we have a law here and remember it is in the manual mode which means here is a law so you have a law and a law here which means here is a law and here is a law it resets this time so if it is reset nothing will happen even if you bring a, a strop here so it is reset and keeps this output low nothing happens whatever you do there so this circuit is actually there to, uh, to prevent any stropping in manual mode because now the time here for this uh, timer it can actually encroach into the time of the what the logic uh, uh, I think I hope you understand uh, what I mean let's suppose this one is high and then uh, you, you you stop here and then in manual mode you stop there this one goes high right uh, and then uh, after the the time lapse uh, when it has to to change to 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 to, to ember because you have stop this one changes to ember after some time and then after it changes to ember then it has gone low which means you can stop again if you stop again it means it changes again so you have another stop uh, but if you have another stop there it means that stop is going straight again to step so that's how this one is coming in and to prevent that but it, if it is if there is no green here you can't change do not change because it will actually move the the, 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 the timer here it will actually move because if you stop there when it has actually moved from green to amber and then you, you stop that stop will actually come here as high and low it will come as high and then goes to 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 to, uh, to to low after some time so you have stopped it will actually respond the timer on the HMI will actually respond so it is high and it has moved to 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 amber and then it has moved again to 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 red but this one is is there as a high and that will actually when it goes low was that time I will actually go low it will actually step to green so you have a problem there so that's the purpose of that circuit yeah so now yeah this is how it works so you have here uh, we have talked about the manual mode uh, we'll talk about now the stop mode the stop mode uh, the stop mode is like this uh, you have uh, in the run mode uh, it is running it is in automatic now you press this button remember this button affects here and we have said this is high right and that is high because uh, you have a high here this is an orchid we don't care about the other one because this is high so we have a high here so the the term is enabled you press the stop button and then it is uh, uh, stop here trigger you have a high here this is high so you have a high there you have a high to the input here is a high so you have a high high here this becomes a low so this is a low so nothing happens to the stroke low here high here and a low there so nothing happens to the stroke but here is a low it means here is a high so it actually changes from 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 run to stop and you remember what happens to the stop signal on the HMI manual so you have changed from run to stop if you would want to come out of the stop signal you press again that signal you do not now use the, the manual in stop mode the manual button is not necessary if, even if you press it it just changes from auto to manual and if it's it goes to manual and then you remove the stop it will just go into manual mode of which you now have to use the stop mode to change directions otherwise leave it in auto mode so to come out of the stop mode you press again press again the same signal comes because this one is enabled this is high so you have a high here 
stop and then triggers and then you have a high here same happens and then this changes again toggles this is just a toggle switch you have a clock here you have a toggle switch so this changes uh, on the leading edge remember the jk flip-flop changes on the leading edge the moment it goes high it changes the output here also the moment it goes high it changes the output so this is how it works right this is the hmi circuit as is now the outputs here they are just coming from there remember there's an output one two three four going straight to the leds accordingly if it's in manual if it's high here it means the uh, led will light as long as we have any high here it will actually show you here so at any given time you have what you have two lights on either it is in run run light is on and then the automatic light is on or manual light is on and the run light is on or the stop light is on and automatic light is on but sometimes if you press the manual in the stop mode to change here it will not stop you from changing so you might have a stop mode a stop led on and a, a manual light on so two lights at a given time yeah that's pretty much about it right uh yeah nothing more the other circuits i think uh, they are self-explanatory and all that yeah okay right uh thank you very much and always feedback is necessary and uh, welcome to the at gmail.com and i thank you uh, enjoy this circuit i hope we uh, will actually have a feedback of uh, people building so our next circuit is actually the pedestrian circuit this will be our fourth and final part of the circuit number six thank you very much